way she did it. It's so underrated. And then she suffered an injury. The doctor said, forget about wrestling. But I'm not done yet. Unbelievable. Welcome back. It's been a hard day here at DBL, but we want to get to an inspiring story. It's not every day we can say we have the United States first ever gold That's medalist so cool. in women's wrestling here live at only 31 years old. Some are calling her story one of the greatest comebacks in the history of sports. Please welcome Helen Marouli. Yeah. yeah. Like Sam just said, so glad you're here on such a tough day. We need some inspiration. And what we just saw from your, uh, from that clip from your documentary, I want to get into how does the film capture, I'm going to start with the low lows, because you need those to get to the high highs. How has that experience, you know, transitioned into you as a professional wrestler? Uh, like how has the, how have the lows shaped me? Yeah, yeah. How has they shaped your career? Um, you know, I would say I feel honestly very blessed to just have these two extreme human experiences of one, seeing what your body can do at the highest level and winning an Olympic gold medal. And then two, seeing what happens when you feel like your mind and body is at the lowest level and you're in a psychiatric unit and deem them safe to yourself. And you're like, wait, I'm the same person. How did I go from there to here? And it, it really just humbled me and made me realize we have to be kind to ourselves and that, you know, we, we go through this journey in life and there really difficult times, but there's always hope. Self-compassion, I'm having trouble with that myself. That's a hard concept for us. Uh, let me ask you this, what barriers have you experienced as a woman, and I say in a man's sport, like wrestling, but with air quotes, uh, any kind of barriers that you've been feeling? Absolutely, when I joined wrestling, I was seven years old, and back then there were only five states in the entire US with girl state sanctioned oh, wow. um, wrestling, and my state wasn't one of them. So I grew up wrestling boys, and you know I had parents calling me names. I had coaches that used to put me against their best guys and tell them to hurt me oh, wow. uh, until I quit or to just wrestle so hard that I wouldn't come back. And, you know, luckily a little bit of just being innocent and naive, I just thought, oh, wow, if, if I want to be the best, I really have to improve my game. This is a really hard level, but I didn't always realize what was going on. And so I think my parents really shouldered a lot of that burden. Yeah. So I'm very grateful that they they allowed me to continue chasing my dream. Good mom and dad. What an inspiration. Good mom and dad. Yeah. Uh, speaking of inspiration, you made history at the Olympics in 2016, making you the first American woman to win gold for wrestling. Two years later, though, you suffer a career ending concussion. How did this change the way that you showed up in the world? I would say the concussion helped me to realize that you are irreplaceable or you're replaceable to everybody but yourself. Mm. And so I realized that I can't push through workouts anymore. A coach can always find a new athlete, but I can't find a new me. I, I have to live with all the repercussions of my decisions and my actions. And so that, you know, self-compassion and taking care of myself. And now I always put my health first and foremost. And uh, a lot of times that means taking a mental health day or an emotional health day. It's yeah. not just, just physical health anymore either. Yeah. I, I love it. And just like sitting here, seeing you in that gym, I could tell like you're either uh, in the middle of a workout, yeah. you just stopped to talk to us. It's, it, it gets me so hype. I really appreciate <laughs> that. Uh, you're 31 and you know, you were confronted with this idea. Like how many times did you think I might have to quit wrestling? You're only 31 years old. How many times did I go through your head? Uh, well, within the last couple of years with the injury, it was always um, it was always in my mind, am I, am I putting myself at risk and when is enough enough? And I, you know, I, I wanted to set a good example for young girls as well. I didn't want to yeah. be someone that kept wrestling and injured myself. That's not the message that I want to send to young girls. So I've told them I, I have retired. I have dealt with that. I have, you know, spent more months doing healing and therapy and not being on the mat, but, uh, to get the blessing and the opportunity to, to come back to the mat, I, I wanted to take that. I wanted to heal through wrestling and I wanted my relationship with wrestling to heal. So mm. I also want to show young girls that, that, um, if you love the sport, you can continue to have that. Helen, we saw in that clip, Chris Pratt is a producer on your documentary and he calls your comeback one of the greatest he has ever seen. What are you most excited for people to see in this documentary? Um, I'm just excited for people to get a glimpse into the wrestling world. And I think in, I think the discussion about mental health is always important. Uh, I've had a lot of feedback about the film being, you know, very vulnerable. I didn't feel that way at the time. It was just myself and the director and 
a cameraman, but I'm, I'm very happy to share that because when I was growing up, uh, I didn't get to see what athletes were going through. And I thought it was always just, you know, sunshine and rainbows and they were just strong and invincible. And that's just not the truth. Well, so I, I want to share that with people. Now you're one of them. Yeah, yep. you are. Yep. Yes, you are. It's how you react to the adversity. Thank you so much for the inspiring words and just for taking action. DBL Nation, you've got to experience Helen Believe, produced by Religion of Sports, Reserve Entertainment, and Chris Pratt's Indivisible Productions. It's in theaters nationwide for one night only, so March 30th. Cool. Buy tickets and watch the trailer by following the link on the screen. Helen, thank you again. Congratulations. Mazel. Thank you. We'll be right back. Thank you so much. Thank you.